problem is going to use Renaud's law. The vapor pressure of benzene at 25 degrees Celsius is 640 torr. A solution of 3.68 grams of a solute in 53.0 grams of benzene has a vapor pressure of 615 torr. Calculate the molecular weight of the solute. Well, at a constant pressure, which is 75 degrees, the lowering of the vapor pressure of a non-volatile solute, which we don't know the end of the of, we're going to figure that out by finding its molecular weight, is proportional to the concentration of the solute in solution, which means P0 equals oops, minus P equals P0 times X. P0 is the original pressure. P is the final pressure. And X is the mole fraction of solute in the mix, in the solution. So from the problem, we know that 640 is P0, six fifteen is P and now we have to do a little bit of algebra. So six forty minus 615 equals 640 times x. 640 is 25. 640x. Divide both sides, 640, and I get 0 0.039. And remember, this is the mole fraction. This is not our final answer. Our final answer, we want the molecular weight <coughs> of the solute. The mole fraction is the number of moles of each component divided by the sum of the number of moles in the solution. So we get, we write that out as a formula that looks like this. I'll write it in words so you can see what each thing represents. Mole well, fraction equals this is actually mole fraction of solute. Keep the solution, the solvent, and the solute separately. Equals moles of solute divided by
moles of solute plus moles of the solvent, which in this case is benzene. Your line longer there. So in other words, the total moles included in the whole solution. So moles of solute divided by the total moles divided in the whole solution equals the mole fraction. And we don't want to know the number of moles, though. We want to know the molecular weight. So if we think about how number of moles and molecular weight are related, moles are equal to grams of sample divided by molecular weight. MW equals molecular weight of the sample. And remember, back in the problem, it told us that we have 53 grams of benzene. So let's go back here. We know for benzene that moles equals 53.0 grams divided by 78.0 grams per mole. This is the molecular weight of benzene. And that equals 0.679 moles benzene. Now we can figure out how many moles of solute we have because this formula right here down here gives us a little bit more space. I know the mole fraction from up here was 0 0.039 Hid my formula there. Oh, there it is. Equals moles of solutes are unknown. We don't know that. Divided by moles of solute. We don't know. Plus moles of benzene. 0.679. And if we do a little bit of algebra here. I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator. And then distribute 0 0.039 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. And then I will subtract 0 0.039x from both sides. I get point two six five equals point nine six one X and then X equals point two seven five and this is moles of solute. We're not quite finished yet. 
because our final answer, we want molecular weight. So, to find our molecular weight, we have one more step. And that is molecular weight equals, as we know, grams divided by moles. And we know from back in the problem, all the way back up here, that we have 3.68 grams of the solute and we just found out that we have 0.275 moles of the solute so grams divided by moles equals 133.8 grams per mole. And that is the final answer. We still can't tell exactly what the solute is because several things could have that molecular weight depending on the composition.